mertebeli meymandar da tanstra getu sert de kilp jitkin ikin. Birinci fizuli majid limarza, halkaral Türk Akademiyasının vice prensidenti Azerbaycan. Lezzet tans paykanım, hoş geldiniz. Kazakistan tele radio kompleksinin başkarma türeyim. Kazakistan. Lezzet Murat kızı. Tam şehir yes kalkıyor. Jenny İstan Palfi, İstan Palfi Orban, keşrinizler. Duna tele kampanyasının direktörü Vengriya. Hoş geldiniz. Jenny Tofik Abbasov. Azerbaycan Respublikası Prezidentinin Ekspres Sekretarya Tele Jürgüzüşü Azerbaycan Hoş geldiniz Ahmet Yeşiltepe Welcome Please, the floor is yours sir And we have a guest from Turkey uh, Who is chairing the International Affairs uh, Department And we have also our guest from Tajikistan Our guest uh, uh, Welcome And we have the Lansta, Turkmenistan, Oslovotragan, Mimlikitik, Akparatik, Agent Tigger, Tom, Bas Director Norm Basara, Kanushev, Sayahet, Muradov, Gurban Gil Dinovich. Now we're going to be looking at different issues. And uh, our objective is to identify the uh, schedule. So each speaker is given eight minutes, and you will be reporting shortly. And after, if you have questions, please do not hesitate to ask the questions accordingly. You are welcome to ask your questions, and the speakers will respond. I would like to give the floor to Fisizuli uh, Turiki. Uh, please, the floor is yours, sir. Thank you so much, um, Mr. Sayat. Dearest guests, uh, welcome to today's roundtable. I'm delighted to participate. Uh, in, on the behalf of International Turkic Academy, and uh, at the same time, I'd like to uh, convey the greetings of the president of the academy, uh, Mr. Darhan Kadrali. Uh, the roundtable uh, is organized uh, by the International Turk Academy uh, in the cooperation of form, forms organizing committee uh, uh, in the framework of Eurovision, uh, Eurasian uh, Media Forum. Uh, by the way, I thank the organizing committee uh, for creating favorable condition, uh, conditions for discussion uh, about important issues. Um, I think that uh, current cooperation between uh, the Central Asian countries and the Turkic states in the field of information is one of the priority issues. Uh, with your per permission, uh, first of all, I want to talk about uh, challenges uh, which we face nowadays. Uh, actually, uh, success is already ours. <laughs> And um, also many uh, of these states, uh, central, mainly Central Asian states and Caucasian states, Caucasian states um, lived together uh, during Soviet period um, uh, in the same uh, political formation, uh, but uh, they have not been able to integrate. Uh, the reason is simple, as you know, uh, because we, we lived in the situation of lack of information. Um, but uh, now uh, there is a completely different situation, new realities. Uh, what is the new reality? Uh, immeasurable uh, abundance of information and uh, information swamp. Uh, the abundance of information raises the problem of being able to choose the truth from it. Uh, it's almost like an ocean of information, uh, those who cannot swim. Uh, on the, uh, in the ocean, in this ocean will drown. Um, your ability, I think, your ability uh, is to gather, to manage, uh, and use information which determines your victory or defeat. Yes, indeed, uh, we have two master, two important skills. Gathering information, 
that is the ability to create it and, uh, and uh, in other words, to form content. Uh, and second one is ability to manage information. I want to focus more uh, on the first issue. Uh, why? Uh, because uh, this is very important uh, to forming the content. content. The ability to uh, manage the information is, is, is the next level. Uh, it's it's a higher level. Uh, uh, it's the most important question today. Can we create content independently? Unfortunately, uh, the answer is ambiguous. Uh, but without knowledge, without information, it's imp impossible to integrate. Today we are talking about the integration of the states, Central Asian states, uh, Turkic speaking states. Uh, but if we want to realize this goal, firstly we must to get to know each other. As a, a, a simple example, I, I want to, uh, one example, can, can you instantly fall in love uh, with every beautiful girl or handsome boy in the street? Um, can you uh, love her? It's, it's impos impossible. Um, you can feel sympathy, uh, but you can't mar marry her. Um, uh, you are starting collect collecting information about her or him. Um, if is uh, is the one suits you, you can decide to get married. Uh, actual relations between states and peoples are developing in the same way. Peoples cannot integrate with, without knowledge today. Our peoples um, who have a common history at least uh, 3,000 years and share common values, common ge geography. Unfortunately, we don't know each other. We have been uh, directly connected. Uh, I have been directly connected uh, with the uh, Central Asia region for 10 years. Uh, I can say this with confidently. Uh, for this reason, in my opinion, the basic element of integration is information. Economy, culture, public, and uh, others are components. In fact, uh, they are all also they are also information. Uh, for example, a successful businessman businessman uh, in uh, the economic sphere, in order to invest in another country, first tries to get knowledge, information, and studies the place, then decide decided invest or not. We uh, are already celebrating 30th anniversary of our independence. Uh, our success is not small. At the same time, we have established good uh, bilateral relations and cooperation, the framework, inter framework in international and regional organizations. Uh, but unfortunately, there are m many shortcomings in our relations in the field of information. We still exchange content from the third parties over the third parties and cannot uh, uh, cannot uh, to uh, share uh, cannot to keep our uh, national interests is this is due to the problem i mentioned earlier insufficient ability to form national content we cannot create the world wide verb in this stage we cannot provide services uh, such as Wikipedia, YouTube, Facebook, because this is already the, the stage of higher level, the information management. But we can participate the, in the formation of this content, or rather to have do it. Another point is social networks, social media. Here too you can observe interesting trends. I want to mention some statistics. According to Alexia, uh, which collects and al analyzes uh, statistics on websites, social network uh, uh, on websites. Social network uh, activists, activists in Turkey prefer to use Twitter and Facebook. Recently, Facebook has uh, overtaken Twitter. It is uh, uh, statistics, uh, statistics of, of this year. Uh, Facebook, uh, but in Azerbaijan, Facebook first 
<clears throat> ranks first, first place between social media users, but Twitter is not among the top 50 most visited sites. In Kazakhstan, the situation is absolutely different. Uh, the population prefers to use networks like VK, Kone, or Adnaklasniki, uh, Oki, dot rule, but Facebook is not among the top 50 sites. In Uzbekistan, users prefer OK rule. Kyrgyzstan mostly uses OK dot rule and VK uh, networks. It shows us there is no even virtual meeting between social network users. We cannot meet there even in uh, virtual uh, world. Um, and um, it shows uh, Azerbaijan and Turkey uh, uh, and users from Central Asia in plays uh, like football teams in different polls. Uh, it may uh, seem uh, small, but uh, this is an important point that hinder our integration. But what are we doing or have we done? In fact, uh, our states have realized lots of things for integration process. At the same time, our people have a desire to build a common future, born of our common historical past about, uh, for example, about, two, uh, about, about 140 years ago, in uh, 1832-33, the great thinker and publicist uh, Ismail Bey Gasparli began publishing the newspaper Terjuman, uh, under, slogan, under the slogan, unity in language, uh, thought, and action. In those diff difficult years of communication, the newspaper which sp spread throughout the Turkic world and uh, Eurasia. <coughs> At the same time, a common alf alphabet project put forward by the great playwright Mirza Fatal Akunzade in 18. Uh, 63 was the first embrace of, uh, of the ideas of reintegration and unity in the Central Asia and Turkic world. It should be noted uh, the common alphabet is still one of the basic conditions for the form formation of a unified information platform. <coughs> then this process continued, uh, as you know, 1960. 1926 with the Baku Turkology Congress, in fact, did not last, but precisely it ended. Important steps have uh, taken since independence. Uh, in these years uh, of independence, Turksoy was established uh, to expand our cultural ties. The first summits were organized at the level of heads of states. One of the most important steps, of, co of course, uh, was the establishment of cooperation uh, Council of Turkic Speaking States in two, <coughs> 2009 at the summit of, head of uh, t uh, heads of Turkic speaking, sp speaking countries in Nakhchivan summit. At this uh, uh, same summit uh, decided to establish uh, the Turkic Academy which organizing uh, today's uh, round table. Um, also, uh, with the establishment of joint organization, organizations such as the Parliamentary Assembly of Turkic Speaking Countries, Turkic Speaking Countries, uh, Turkic Culture and Heritage Foundation, uh, the development of cooperation in many areas has expanded. Has expanded. Uh, one of them um, was the field of information. The fifth summit of Turkic Council held in Astana, uh, in this city, uh, nowadays Nur Sultan. 2015 and was dedicated uh, to the development, development of cooperation uh, in the field of information. At this summit, it was decided to establish a common Turkic television. Uh, in order to support this process in 2017, the initiative of the Turkic Academy, an international media forum, Turkic World and, and Information Space, was held in Turkish, Turkistan, Kazakhstan. Uh, Mr. Yeshiltepe also uh, participated in this forum. It was decided to hold uh, this forum in the f uh, future. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. I, uh, I want to underline another point, cooperation between Turkey and uh, Azerbaijan in the field of information. Uh, it's a great example for cooperation in the inform information field. 
um, uh, a joint media platform has been formed, in particular uh, during the 44 uh, Patriotic uh, War, we saw a, a visible result. Uh, and and uh, I think that the platform can be further expanded, including uh, in the Central Asian states. At the same time, I, I, a clear example uh, it, a clear example is that Eurasian Media Forum, uh, hosted by Kazakhstan, has been an important global platform for many years. And I, I've, I've participated in this forum, and I, I think this plat platform is very useful and should be used for integration process. And uh, there are some activities about uh, uh, uh, uh, activities of Turkic Academy. I, I want to uh, yes uh, summarize. Um, uh, in particular, uh, uh, I, I think uh, there are many points of creating content, uh, uh, but governmental and non-governmental organization, organizations can contribute contribute to this process. Uh, I would like to mention the creation of content, content for children, mainly, and creation cartoons, joint documentaries. Uh, I think Mr. Uh, Lazat Hanum uh, and uh, Mrs. Uh, sorry, Lazat, uh, Mrs. Ms. Mr. Yeshiltepe and uh, Mr. Ishtvan uh, can uh, uh, like a professional, uh, pro professional, uh, uh, uh, yes, uh, yeah, uh, they can describe compre comprehensively these uh, issues. Uh, and uh, I want to um, uh, uh, final uh, one uh, uh, idea, uh, but uh, now we, uh, no one is soldier. Actually, it's the it's create uh, it's opens. Uh, new realities, uh, it, it describes uh, new realities. It's uh, no one is soldier, but everyone is part of the war. This is a new reality of nowadays. Thank you very much, and uh, I, I wish all the best success. Uh, thank you very much indeed, Mr. Majdli. In the Kormita Forum, Mr. Majdli Marzan, I can balance the we would like to thank you, dear uh, speaker. And if we have any questions, please do not hesitate to ask. Or if you have some comments, uh, please don't hesitate to ask. Thank you. If you don't have any questions, uh, so Fizuli Bey, you told yourself that the function of the social media, for instance, in uh, Turkey it is Twitter, in Kazakhstan it is Facebook and Instagram. How can we get those platforms closer together? Because the major message for uh, mass media, including social networks, is certainly uh, to strengthen relationships in between our citizens, uh, those living in Turkey or Azerbaijan or Kazakhstan. How can we have this uh, work and campaign in social networks, thank you. It is a new reality, but uh, uh, we, uh, uh, we lived main formation uh, lots of years, uh, 70 years, but uh, we didn't uh, create, we couldn't create uh, information platform which we, we can use. And uh, after our independency uh, changed all realities, and uh, started to uh, new information trends like internet and worldwide work. And uh, unfortunately, these countries, these independent countries, uh, couldn't create uh, themselves a special platform. It's, it's a very uh, important, but it's very hard process. It's a very difficult process, and we understand that. that but uh, as I uh, said, we can, um, we can um, contribute to create content. And I think we have a great opportunity to cooperate uh, this stage, to, cooperate, to create a cooperation and to improve our cooperation in this sphere, to uh, make content, to form the new content for uh, our national interests and our common interests, because we uh, tie uh, great common uh, uh, historical value, his, uh, cultural values, and uh, I think uh, it, um, it opens a great opportunity to uh, cooperation in, in the information field too. Uh, and uh, televisions and uh, websites, social media uh, can 
uh, improve this, uh, this uh, can contribute uh, this process. In the Berikin Soul, Hokar of Turk Academia, and also Turkutlis or Taza that will continue in Darn Gregolomi. With the involvement of the Academy, Adam Darda also business yielded the Jacunda Struda, also Turk Academia Sunday. How the Turk Academy can help improving with radio, cassettes. Newspapers, how could that be improved? Summit Turk Academy uh, was established uh, for this purpose uh, to uh, contribute uh, integration process in the field of information, humanitarian, humanitarian issues, uh, and education and science. Uh, Turk Academy, um, Turk Academy. Uh, for this purpose, uh, fundamental scientific works, uh, dictionaries, uh, dictionaries, and uh, scientific, cultural, and geographical atlas ha ha have been published. An electronic portal, um, ancestral heritage, has been created. Uh, and the, uh, every every year, Turkic Academy realized the Turk uh, bar Barometer Project, which uh, uh, realized uh, psychological. Um, uh, projects in, in Turkic states. Uh, and um, uh, a very scientific and archaeological expeditions, I, I, I can underline, um, ha, have been organized by the Turk Academy. And this process is going on. Uh, the official website, website of Turk Academy uh, and Telegram channel and all uh, official accounts on uh, social networks uh, also can serve and serving and can serve and can expand uh, his uh, its uh, ability to serve this uh, goal. Uh, and I think uh, Turkic Academy can be a common platform for Turkic uh, uh, states and Central Asian states. Kovrahmet, in the Turk Academy, as was a part of the the Turkey Lazat, the floor is yours, uh, the chairperson of the management board of uh, TRK Kazakhstan. Uh, distinguished participants of the forum, good day. Indeed, today uh, we are raising uh, pretty important issues, in particular from the economic and political viewpoint, uh, whereby the world is surviving through the turbulence, and we can see that the Turkic countries uh, and the mass media in Turkey countries develop new ways of cooperation in the new reality. Therefore, our uh, TV and radio company, Kazakhstan, closely collaborating with uh, Central Asian countries, including uh, Tajikistan with Turkey, Azerbaijan, Madiniyat. Uh, we share content, however, this is not yet a huge volume of work because uh, we also have uh, historic serials and Turkey and Azerbaijan, we demonstrate a number of various, time, various types of um, uh, series and um, we provide Turkey Turkish information, and we started a new channel, um, Abai, and our brotherhood countries and nations can participate. We mentioned that we need to share the information about the, our history and our culture. Therefore, we sent requests to all the neighboring countries and other uh, Turkic countries uh, so that for Abai TV uh, channel, uh, they 
uh, sh sh a number of films, and uh, we provided the uh, translation into Kazakh, and uh, uh, we can demonstrate those and translate those um, at a by channel. And I think that uh, we should not only share the content, but also we should share the expertise and the experience. For example, our company, Kazakhstan, and staff of our company visit Turkey to learn more about this experience. And our colleagues here also shared their opinions. And we signed memoranda so far with the Kyrgyz side. We are now making a documentary devoted to the prominent uh, Kyrgyz writer, Shingiz Aitmatov. We have also Balapan channel. At the moment, uh, together with Kyrgyz uh, animators, uh, we are making the animation film devoted to space for Balapan channel for children. Uh, so cooperation depends on us, so we have to cooperate and we are prepared to implement such new projects. Kazakhstan Corporation uh, will make various uh, television series and now we are proposing a series of uh, 16 or 17 episodes about uh, Korke Tata uh, to the market. So I think that we can offer uh, these series and we are working together so that in your countries we could do the filming in your countries so that we could have the historical series because Korke Tata, Korke Baba is the person of our common history and if you support that, it would be great. And Mr. Sayat already mentioned that there are several mechanisms and paths of cooperation and if we carry out uh, these specific projects, uh, we could uh, further develop our cooperation. And every year, your channels and our channels, if uh, we demonstrate various documentary, historical, or cultural uh, films and movies or series, if we exchange uh, such movies, and if we create a single platform or the information ser service so that every channel uh, would uh, issue adverts about their movies and films. And if the state-owned TV channels are interested, uh, we could exchange our, these movies so that we could demonstrate the, our, the common history of our countries. And this could be used as the franchise platform. Another proposal is that uh, we would like to make animation projects uh, that would demonstrate the commonality of our history. And we were quite successful in that. For example, the uh, Balapan channel for children uh, that demonstrate animation films and uh, Every year we could produce uh, up to 250 episodes of these animation films. Uh, we know that the Turkic countries, uh, such as Kyrgyzstan, uh, Uzbekistan, we all are going to celebrate 30 years of anniversary of our independence. Therefore, on the eve of Nowriz, we would like to organize a tele TV bridge that would be interesting that, uh, for all the audiences of our countries. For example, last year, we organized a radio bridge to celebrate the 100 years of Kazakh radio, where the journalists from Azerbaijan, Kyrgyz, Mongolia, and other countries participated. So we could um, organize events like this. And I would, li would like to mention that uh, in addition to the historic, historical uh, movies, uh, our common topic is that we need to jointly demonstrate the way we combat the coronavirus infection so that we could uh, raise awareness. So, for example, we have 160 
videos that uh, call for vaccination for the people. And uh, this is the common topic for all our countries. Therefore, uh, we have the common mission and we are prepared to share the videos uh, calling for vaccination or we can translate your videos uh, into Russian and uh, demonstrate them as well. And uh, Kazakhstan would uh, support all necessary measures for the cooperation in the new reality conditions. Uh, thanks a lot, Lezat Muratana. You ex ex expressed very interesting suggestions. We have here colleagues from Hungary, Turkey, and Azerbaijan. And uh, you already mentioned Korket Dade and Korket Baba that you are going to make a film. And I think that now you will have to discuss this issue in more detail. Now, distinguished uh, colleagues, I would like to check with you what would be your suggestion uh, about these proposals regarding Korket Dade and the establishment of the integrated platform and the free franchise platform. What would be your opinion about this idea? The, in, the idea is to create the new film uh, Korka, about Korket Dade uh, because this uh, personality is the personality that is common for all our nations. What would be your opinion about this option? All that kind of um, establishments and uh, the joint venture projects. But we always get some kind of obstacles. I cannot define the. Uh, it's kind of a structural thing. So, um, Lezet Chambai got a lot of. It's a long, long list for, for getting involved in that kind of projects. But uh, um, we cannot get together. So we have a lot of brand names. We have a lot of so many TV stations, radios, and projects. But uh, we cannot get a real concrete um, projects. Um, I, I, I am so enthusiastic about this. But I, I always fail. I'm, <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm a little bit pessimistic. But if you want, I, I would like to give a, a, a statement about this. Uh, can I continue this? Yes. Of course. So, it, it, it, is it my turn? No. So, I, I just, I, I'm, I'm a little bit pessimistic. But uh, this uh, kind of um, gatherings, you know, uh, get together. Why, to why you are you so pessimistic? Because, uh, um, that's, there are so many uh, reasons. First of all, political. Mm. Uh, the second one I, is... Uh, I think it's not so big problems, this, this barriers for after this... After the Karabakh conflict, yes, we, we, we got a very good um, uh, model to, mm. to work together, yeah. Azerbaijan and Turkey. But um, the second one is about the language, I think. Mm. Uh, yes, we, we, we call it a Turkish language, but uh, we cannot each other. We cannot understand each other, and we cannot express ourselves. And we have kind of a little bit um, mm, cultural gaps. So first thing is first, we have to get together, know each other more. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm a little bit pessimistic for this reason. But uh, uh, uh, later on, I, I, will, I will give my statement about Ahmet Bey, galiba bu toplantıdan sonra şeyler olacak. Of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. çok. Ben çok coşkuluyum. I'm so enthusiastic about yeah. this. So I will get the, some projects from here to Turkey, and uh, we can get together and we can build a, a new a, a joint uh, projects. Uh -huh. Yeah. Thank you very much, uh, Tofik Abbasov. Uh, Siz kalay öyleyiz. Sizin fikriniz nasıl? Как вы думаете по этому поводу? Хотим вас послушать и про Науриз. We would like to hear from you about Nauriz, about uh, common platforms. Uh, the button is on your left hand side. Okay, thank you. 
I get a new format of our cooperation. It's very important, and Karabakh war demonstrates that we have to be together in these complicated situations. And indeed, uh, we felt uh, the support of uh, the uh, of Turkey, of our brother. It was both moral and political. But Turkic world is uh, vast; it's uh, huge, and uh, in the, uh, the exclusive situation, we have to be together. We have to be in one line, and it's not just the target; it's the tool for addressing our issues. And in this case, I'm very thankful to the organizers of the Eurasian Forum that we are having this round table. But this format of the round table is not enough for us. We have to go further and higher. And we have all opportunities for that. Ahmed Bey is absolutely right that there are lots of TV stations, lots of media, and we have the strongest power, and we have to be always at arm's, arm's length. We have to have diversification and sharing of all our corridors. And of course, the notion of Turkic world is somehow uh, frightening the people, but our political leaders uh, provide the guidance, and we are not talking about political unity and political blocks, but the cultural and civilizational unity, because we have common roots and we have the common grounds. And we are building our Turkic world, not to the damage uh, to other communities, but uh, because this is our uh, basic and uh, what is given to us, and this is our responsibility. And uh, it, it is indeed an, an issue that the language issue needs to be addressed. Uh, uh, I think that it's not the main issue. We have to address other issues, and the, uh, the language issue will be addressed by itself. So I think that we need to establish the continuous a uh, platform for sharing information uh, between the journalists. I'm not talking about the media environment. I'm talking about the professional networking so that our colleagues would be com continuously in touch with each other. Bec they have to feel each other because our the biggest pain is that we are not very well informed about each other. So to close these gaps, uh, we have to work together so I believe that this should, for this, we need to have the biggest motivation. And the most important is that we have enough strength and opportunities to do that. Thank you very much. Now I would like to give the floor to Tofik Abbasov. In your future presentation, we will come back to this discussion. Now I would like to give the floor to Mr. Istvan Palti Orban. Director of TV company Duna, Hungary. The floor is yours. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Correct. Yes. Thank you, Sayat. Thank you. Uh, good morning to all of you. Uh, let me greet everybody uh, here in the hall and uh, thank for the academy and for the forum to provide the invitation to North Sultan. Uh, it's not my first time here in Kazakhstan. I've been here on the first uh, Eurasian Media Forum in uh, uh, 2002, and it was a great event. Uh, it's really lovely to be here back again and see how North Sultan has developed. So, um, so much has been said, and I, I agree with uh, Yazet, I agree with uh, Tofik and Ahmed uh, speaking about uh, cooperation. Because you see, uh, there are the traditional ways, of course, which are uh, the levels of, uh, of exchange that you have been speaking about. Because it's always uh, the first step to do, uh, exchange news, documentaries, serials, um, series, um, films, whatever. Um, but that's, that's the kind of cultural exchange that you can do uh, between Turkish-speaking countries. Um, then again, there's the second step, I think, um, which is co-production. Um, 
either of two parties or more. You can do it in a, in a multilateral way, uh, kind of multi-production, uh, joining uh, Azari and Kazakh and Kyrgyz and Tajik and Turkmen, uh, and Uzbek people. Um, so this multi-production is the second step, I think. Um, then there's um, then there's the um, the question of being uh, pessimistic or not, as you've stated. So um, let me give you an example. Uh, in Hungary, we're not facing the same pro problem, but but it's it's in a way similar, because there are so many Hungarian-speaking people outside our borders. Uh, in Slovakia, in Ukraine, in Romania, in Serbia, all around our countries, in Croatia and in Austria as well. So it's a, it's a huge population of about uh, uh, 3.2 million people speaking the Hungarian language outside our borders. So what we do is, is basically different, but of course we do the exchange. Um, but there's one element I'd like to emphasize that we that we do our job on the spot. So we we have our correspondents in Bratislava, in Kiev, in Bucharest, uh, in Belgrade, in Zagreb, and all around, and in Vienna, uh, because it's it's us. We have to do it. And what I'd like to emphasize, um, I'm not uh, a Turkish-speaking uh, person, of course. But what I'd like to emphasize is that you have to do it, do it on any level, the lower levels or the upper levels that you have uh, Tofik stated. So uh, when when going home, we have to we have to take this uh, take this uh, um, debate with us and uh, disseminate it, uh, if if you like it. So it's it's just like. Uh, doing it. It's, uh, I would, wouldn't like to, to draw in a, uh, a motto from a sports company because it would be advertisement here, but you just have to do it. Uh, and that's what we try to do in Hungary. We're doing it. Um, as you may well know that uh, Hungary is only an observing country in the uh, Turkic uh, Academy, but uh, uh, but having this uh, observing status, um, um, we have uh, so many relations and ties with, uh, with Turkey and with Turkish-speaking uh, countries or the Turkic uh, um, Academy member countries. Um, as, and you just as well know that uh, we've been living, uh, I wouldn't say under Ottoman rule, I would say uh, with the Ottomans for uh, 150 years in the 16th and 17th century. And there are so many cultural um, issues related to, to the past, uh, which have been renewed uh, in the 21st century. And that is, again, I think, a, a positive and um, a not pessimistic uh, approach we have, we have there. Um, what else, uh, just quickly, uh, some, some, someone has expressed the, the importance of uh, personal ties. Uh, maybe it was you, Tofik, but never mind. So I just want to emphasize it that uh, that's, that's the first level. You have, to, uh, you have to meet the people. Oh, it was you, yes, yes, yes, um, with the girl and the boy. Um, you have to, have to know them really well before, um, before exchange, getting into exchange. So it's uh, personal ties, of course, and upgrade the personal ties to some, uh, some kind of uh, um, intercompany or establishment or, uh, or international level. So it, it, it should not only work between per persons, uh, person to person, but to, um, between companies uh, and, and um, and in, even intergovernmental um, um, elements. Um, if I have just one, two more minutes, uh, speaking about uh, new reality, because that was the, the approach given uh, uh, in the title of this um, uh, session, of this uh, roundtable. 
So when, uh, when we say new reality, uh, we in, uh, in Hungary, we mean that uh, the, uh, the viewing and listening and, and consuming media, public media, I'm speaking about only public media because I'm a public media person, um, is, is declining, of course, as you might just as well experience the same thing in your countries. So it's declining, and it's declining in a in a very very. Uh, so it's it's tremendous. It's uh, it's really a defeat for for the public media hungry. Uh, shares and reach and all that kind of statistics are declining. So that's that's new reality, and the new reality is technology, as as you've stated. With uh, Facebook Mr. And Orban, my apologies. We have a, a short time. If you agree with me, absolutely, okay. yeah. So carry on. You have a question for me, or maybe I'll join in later on. Yeah, uh, you speak new ideas every every uh, speakers. Uh, I I think uh, some uh, opinion uh, for your uh, statement. And uh, Ahmed Yashil Tepe, uh, what do you think about it? Uh, Optimistic and pessimistic. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So for integration uh, I, I'm media platforms, to, yes. I, I'm, I'm trying to hold my horses. Why? Because I, I, I have some experiences about 20 years in Central Asia. Non ideological, non you know political, nothing. It's about to love. It's about to getting together to to understand each other, to, to know these people. How, how can we relate with, with them from Turkey to Central Asia? So that's why I, I, I wrote some things, some, some, some ideas uh, to my cards. If you give me a permission, I would like to give my personal experiences. Okay, your uh, we, uh, we have time? Yes, yes, okay. yes. So, your statement, please. Yes. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. I would like to thank our organ organizing committee to, of Eurasia Media Forum for having me. Uh, I, I, I thank the officials of Republic of Kazakhstan and uh, Tuesco as well. While I'm coming here, <coughs> I ask myself the following question the most on the plane. I have been working for, for 20 years for cooperation between Turkish-speaking peoples in Central Asia, where I feel I belong in. As media professional, as a media professional, what was my contribution to this community of peoples, which I see as a part of my own identity? What have I accomplished? How hard did I try to make us get to know each other better to discover our similarities? How much could I tell about our common history, culture, and stories that I traced on my long journeys? I dare say uh, how much did I see concrete uh, returns for all my personal efforts about why I'm asking these questions, I'd like to tell you briefly what I have been doing, doing in, in, in Central Asia for the last 20 years. At the beginning of 2000s, starting from Mongolia, Orkhon Valley, at the point where the Orkhon monuments are located, I traveled all over Central Asia. I lived among people speaking Ural Altai and the different variants of Turkish. I made documentaries about these peoples of their lands. I tracked and discovered our cultural brotherhood and its most lively and beautiful stories in Mongolia, East Turkestan, Xinjiang, Japan, also South Korea, Yakutia, Tuva, Akasya, Bashkordistan, Tatarstan, Crimea, Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan, Turkmenistan, Iran, Iraq, Azerbaijan, Gagauzia, and Balkans. I prepared a documentary series about all these lands and, and peoples. Thanks to this documentary series named uh, 
zaman yolcusu Türklerin izinde 33 episodes which translates to time traveler in the footsteps of Turkish Turks I'm sorry many young people in Turkey perhaps for the first time learned about current issues based on actual testimonies actual one about these geographies and uh, the peoples I like think that I have helped those living in these geographies to be seen from a new perspective, apart from being just a trading partner or a country uh, to invest in. The young generation in Turkey met with a brand new Turkish world other than the ones they saw in documentaries only made with ideological, political purposes in mind and only through historical narratives, most of them in the framework of a kind of racial brotherhood based only on myths. Young people who probably met the, with throat singers in Tuva, from Tuva, golden man findings in Kazakhstan, Turkic petroglyphs in Kyrgyz Kyrgyzstan and, and, and Yakutia, perhaps for the first time, in first time in Turkish television, they began forming associations, clubs, starting expeditions to these lands, from shamanism to tengrism, from Uzbek cuisine to Bashkir music, from ancient Bulgar city in Tatarstan to treasures uh, hidden in Chuvash, language, I tried to open the, uh, open the doors uh, an extraordinary magnific magnificent uh, world uh, in, in a very wide perspective. Looking back 20 years, I see the things that unite us are much more than the things that makes us different. As a media professional who has taken up the mission of telling facts, these facts, I believe I accomplished most of what I, I aim to do. But still I have a long, long, long way to go because our world is vast and, and, and full of treasures it contains are too numerous to tell about them all. Thankfully, today, uh, thanks to leading institutions such as uh, Turkic Council, Turk Soy, International Turkic Academy, Tuesco. There are many organizations that enable us to get to know each other and strengthen our unity. Together we organize film festivals, joint song contests, from joint orchestras, do more business in each other with, with each other, stay ever closer to each other. Peoples who were distant from each other, from for, for historical reasons before Soviet era, but whose hearts beat together are now closer to each other. Our unity is not only in economy and culture, but also political, of course, as you can see in Karabakh example. It's exciting that Uzbekistan returns to Turkey Council as a full member and Hungary has observer status. We look forward to, to, to inclusion to Atayurt, uh, Turkmenistan in this union. Of course, we still have a long way to go, but today, compared uh, to 20 years ago, there is a, a Turkish world that has correctly determined the fields of cooperation, form uh, common professionals, associations, and is more contact with each other than ever. I would like to give a, a, very interesting uh, example to you. Um, I said we have a lot of things to do. Um, we came across very important stories in areas we had overlooked in the past. I think one of the best example uh, of this is um, Imam Bek Zeykano. I first heard about his Grammy nomination from a Kazakh friend on social media, not a, a Turkic television or newspaper or something. 
There are so many Turkish, you know, joint venture or something, but there is nothing, nothing about the uh, Imam Beg, about the, the, the, the this news. I, it, that means this is the, we are trying to, to get our youths to, you know, uh, current, current, social media is good, okay, but these are not works. I got a, I got a, you know, the, the information from a social media uh, friend. I first, uh, the song Roses, you know, the signed by the famous U.S. rapper uh, San John, uh, did not catch on well in 19, uh, I'm sorry, 2016, but the song became a worldwide hit thanks to Imam Beck's remix. It was MTV that first aired the news of Imam Beck's nomination. Then many Turkish TV organizations called us and then asked about the background of the news, took the footage and made the news. The news of, uh, of a limestone canyon discovered in Kazakhstan, in this country, at that time also attracted great attraction, uh, attention from Turkish audience. Uh, I saw this news also in the social media post uh, of a Kazakh friend of mine. So that's why I'm pessimistic. There is no news. There's only political something, you know, chain uh, exchanges. But, but we need current um, affairs. The, the, the, the, we realize that a part of from historical and archaeological discoveries and research that are many contemporary and current issues to be taken from the Turkish world. For example, the vaccine development uh, studies of Kazakhstan uh, uh, scientists, academic research of universities in fields such as science and technology uh, may be important and current news for us. That's why I- Mr. Yes, to pay one minute for you. Okay, okay. so- um, Summary, please. Uh, I remember an expedition we made to Mongolia five years ago almost, I think, uh, un, uh, under the leadership of uh, International Turkey, uh, Turkish Academy, the WhatsApp group we established with parts, participants that still serves as an important news source for me. We are we using only WhatsApp group. So why do we need uh, TV stations? So. We don't get the real information, current, affair, current news get together and we cannot uh, reach the uh, real information and news from our partners. Thank you very much. Большое спасибо. Господин Ешлитепе затронул очень важные вопросы. Я, если вы не в курсе... Uh, if you do not uh, aware, Iman Bek Zikenov, I would like to remind you once again, uh, who has won uh, Grammy, Grammys, and that was the first time ever in the Commonwealth of Independent States. And I think that for the Turkic world and for the um, uh, Eurasian uh, countries, that was a great victory. And uh, Mr. Mijli, uh, for instance, uh, took up on social media. You talked uh, in your introduction about social media. I think that your opinion is very, very important. And uh, um, how can we actually get the social uh, network close to the uh, cooperation matters? Yes, uh, we uh, prefer to use uh, these contents which uh, which largely using uh, people. Ahmed uh, we, we, uh, will part we uh, have participated together in Mongolia, and we made a group uh, named uh, Tony Cook. <laughs> and uh, every week, every month, we use this group for uh, collaboration. And, and it, it's very important point. Uh, we, we don't need to... Uh, expenditure, uh, expenditure um, money, uh, uh, big financial flow uh, to you, uh, make, maybe I think it's my, my private uh, position, uh, to make a uh, 
big uh, TV corporations, maybe uh, big uh, TV channels. Uh, we can start uh, from WhatsApp groups, from uh, Facebook groups, from uh, Telegram channels, uh, which we don't need to um, to uh, uh, finance uh, big finance. Yes, um, uh, it's it's very important. Uh, point uh, which M Mr. Yeshil Tepe said. Um, I think uh, the pl platform like uh, this platform, we can continue uh, uh, to improve this platform. Uh, every year, uh, I think uh, Eurasian Media Forum every year, uh, uh, only last year, uh, didn't uh, organize uh, uh, due to pandemia. Uh, and every year uh, in, in uh, this form in, in, fra in the framework of this form, or uh, we can uh, Turkish Academy uh, planning to uh, uh, continue uh, form of uh, Turkish speaking countries on the media sphere. Uh, first uh, forum, Ahmed Yeshil Tap also participated, and uh, Turkish Academy awarded <laughs> him uh, Gasparli, uh, Gasparli Medal. Yeah, yeah? Gasparli. Yeah, uh, I think uh, it's it's uh, we can contribute. Every person can contribute to uh, f integration. Every journalist, mainly journalists and um, uh, and media representatives, can contribute this process. Uh, we we need we need social media uh, as a medium. So uh, it's so easy. And uh, but I have to tell you something. We, we need uh, current news, current mm -hmm. uh, stories, mm -hmm. recent, you know, mm -hmm. mo modern life. We are, we, okay, we live in uh, Central Asia, it's, you know, it's a beautiful landscape, yeah, okay, but we have young generation Turkic world, and we are trying to get involved these their uh, issues uh, and uh, stories. Uh, we are just only, you know, ideological and political. Yes, yeah, we are in the Turkic world and we are strong. We have to get together and of course, but we are looking back to, we are going to the involve the, the younger generation's uh, uh, demands, mm -hmm. I believe. Mm -hmm. I, I would like uh, Thank you very much. Большое спасибо, Кувар Ахмед. In the Kiris Suz Gizigan, Thank you very much. Uh, the next law should be given to Torfik Abbas, the Vice President of uh, Azerbaijan, the political reporter of the uh, Azerbaijan National Television. Uh, we would like to hear his view about uh, cooperation in the new reality and to pay a lot of efforts on the social media. In the best case, they are duplicating the official media. We have lots of opportunities for joint projects, uh, joint activities, and we have a lot of uh, things to do together. Uh, it's not by chance uh, that we, I mentioned uh, the war and battle with Armenia, and Azerbaijan was uh, um, counter-attacking on its own territory. During this campaign, the President Ilham Aliyev uh, provided about 40 interviews to the uh, formal media. Uh, thankful to the Turkish colleagues, uh, they translated to the world uh, the useful content uh, that was digestible uh, shared by our president and uh, representatives from Kazakhstan, from Uzbekistan and other Turkic countries could be present there. We should not uh, translate via some intermediaries uh, some information because uh, otherwise it, it does, it's, no, it's no longer fresh. We are now in li living in the world of uh, urgent information. Another example. <coughs> President Ruham Aliyev uh, called the forum of Turkic countries uh, and the decision was taken to help each other because not all the countries uh, were ready for that. And our journalists were not allowed to participate dynamically. Again, the political cluster set the tone and only after that uh, the, our colleagues got involved in the, in the process. We, information carriers, should not be at the 
end of the queue. We have to be at the forefront. Uh, I would like to briefly tell you that our colleagues are very closely collaborating with Turkish colleagues to create joint platforms. Uh, here we have Ravshan Mamedov, the uh, manager of our national television, and we have a number of projects that are being implemented with uh, Turkish colleagues, uh, STV and Habar Global. So these projects are already implemented. So we have to uh, gain momentum because indeed uh, the events develop very quickly and uh, the audience may be absolutely unaware of what is going on. And in this regards, Ahmed Bey is absolutely right that the new generation has grown and they should not be powerless and they have the moral right to ask from us, what, would, what have you done? Have you established any templates and uh, did you make any steps forward? Uh, yes, we have lots of opportunities and we have to start acting, otherwise we will miss this opportunity. Speaking about uh, Turkic environment, uh, Turk soy and other collaboration, it is in place, but in the information environment, uh, we still have the uncertain winds and we have to institutionalize that. There is a great demand for that. And uh, let me reiterate that probably it would make sense to create a continuous uh, forum with Turkic countries uh, with the that would follow the principles, uh, the principle of open doors, uh, that is, we can gather ourselves and invite the guests like NATO does or G7 does, uh, and the, we could do the same because Turkic world has entered another phase of its uh, self-recognition, and in this regards, the information operation should be at the forefront showing that we are not frightening anyone, that we are working together, but we are saying that we are collaborating, cooperating, integrating, uh, which could be one of the components of global cooperation and integration. So we contribute into the global processes. And in this regard, we don't see any barriers here. The only thing we need to do is to be active, proactive, because there are uh, some s scholars already uh, Kazakh, Kyrgyz, Tajik, and they all have their own advantages and expertise. And if we put it all together, now it may look pretty vague, but indeed uh, we have something to be proud of, we all. And the, our biggest challenge is that we are not well informed and we do not know what, is, what are the advantages and gaps on the other side of Caspian Sea. And it's not by chance that I gave the example of our national television, is that we are already facing the challenges of tomorrow. Uh, television has a big audience all over the country, as though people talk a lot about internet, gadgets, and multimedia platforms. Television would play a role, and it has its place. Therefore, I absolutely agree with our colleague Ahmed Bey that we have to work together. Uh, we would be liable and we would be responsible and we uh, have done a lot and we can do even more and all prerequisites are there. Thanks a lot to Mr. Abbasov. Uh, you tackle upon the issue of Karabakh. I think in the future it will be thought about by media environment as well and everyone may have its own opinion about that, and uh, Turkic world was of the same opinion in this regards, and the communities and people, and I have a question to you. As Mr. Shiltipe mentioned that uh, we have some cultural differences and we have some uh, Soviet past, but Azerbaijan, Kazakhstan, and other Turk-speaking countries uh, in Central Asia, including as Jalal uh, Khodkorbanova from Turkmenistan, they all uh, know and can speak Russian very well, and they have the common historical past, although it may be short. Uh, my question is to 
regarding the role of Azerbaijan in this regard. Turkey is the western wing of this uh, Turkic environment. Uh, Kazakhstan may look as the eastern part, but Azerbaijan is uh, somewhere in the middle, in between, like a cultural bridge between the western and eastern wings as the carrier and speaker of Russian language and our common past, and uh, together with Turkish in Turkic integ integration between Istanbul, Ankara, and uh, Nur Sultan, uh, Baku is somewhere in the middle. What do you see as the mission of Azerbaijan? I think that all, um, all of us should act both as the creator and the retranslator. Let me give one example. In early next last century, in Central Asia had a very uh, famous movement of Jadids. They used information that was generated by Baku and Istanbul via Azerbaijan, via the sea. It would come on paper. In the Soviet times, the tradition still was still preserved. The newspapers that were issued in Baku, Bakinski Raboche, Vishka, they were all by ferry transported to Central Asia. And even now, in the libraries of Tashkent and your Kazakhstani countries, do you still have all these subscriptions? They might have come later to the readers, but any newspaper is fresh when it's read. Uh, so the link between Turkey and Azerbaijan is already in place. Uh, so we should not wait until uh, we have the common language to speak. Be we can even speak the uh, language of fingers uh, to understand each other. And uh, the bridge is already in place. Uh, during the uh, conference in 2010, Mr. Ilham Aliyev uh, suggested that uh, the Turkey Council is turned into the uh, Coordination uh, Council of Turkey countries. Th this is where our activities are needed. Uh, the in in actions of the uh, media professionals and uh, other participants. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot. Uh, we said that the Turkic world should invite guests. And I think it is already a reality because Janatkom Kurbanova from Tajikistan is uh, with us. And I suggest that we listen to our dear guest since um, we are very interested to hear because Tajikistan is um, a country which is of interest for us from the cultural and historical viewpoint. The floor is yours. Thank you very much. I would like to thank the organizers for this opportunity to be present here, to share my views, and to hear more about from my colleagues. Thank you very much. Yes, indeed, we have the common environment, since we don't believe ourselves being away from the Turkic world. We are the only country in Central Asia which is not a part of the Turkic environment, but we are so much integrated that your problems uh, or issues uh, are considered to be ours, so we don't see any language barrier. So I heard about your problems, and I think that they are the same for us, because we have the same history, we have uh, the same culture and spirituality. And the previous speakers mentioned that as well. And the information environment is also the same. So we analyze uh, the viewpoints of the colleagues from all over the world and uh, bring this information to the Russian-speaking population. And I must say that uh, our readers have a flooding of information, and uh, some readers may be lost and confused, and uh, they may be in a an opinion that we need to improve the media literacy of our readers so that they could understand us. This is, uh, in, in my view, a way of uh, transferring the responsibility from our shoulders to somebody else, uh, because most of our population are rural people, and improving their media literacy will cost a lot and take a lot of time. But life is uh, so quickly and developing that we have to guide the people and lead the people. So our task is to lead the people. And the real life shows that uh, we, even not thinking about, we could uh, impede it. 
for example, COVID, the misinformation has been presented and we are aware of the methods of combating misinformation, but still each of our media would uh, provide this uh, misinformation. And what, res what is as a result, uh, this information, misinformation will impede the activities that would uh, significantly accelerate the combat of a pandemic. Uh, Lazad mentioned that 160 videos have been developed, and these are not just videos. This is, uh, co these are costs, and these are, uh, this is labor of people that could be spent otherwise. And uh, we sometimes um, unwillingly uh, fighting for the leadership uh, would uh, allow that. Uh, why did I? recall pandemic, uh, now we are facing another problem, uh, Afghanistan. When we started studying the uh, media of our neighboring countries, we found out that the information is provided by the journalists uh, who, uh, sorry, in uh, inverted commas, are far from the knowing the reality of the life in Afghanistan, and still they provide this information. You should not forget about the uh, things that are transferred by people and uh, our rural people can grab the information and start sending it over and spamming it. So they start working more actively and proactively than we do. So our task is, uh, in s at least in some issues, to e express solidarity and journalist ethics so that we are of the same opinion in certain issues. We understand that uh, we are supported by various forces, but pandemic proven, has proven that we don't have to be, uh, to, to be guided by certain powers and forces. And for example, regarding Afghanistan, a lot of agitation is caused by Afghanistan. However, our politicians are working on that and they are trying to address this issue. And our task is to, facilitate productive uh, solution uh, of these issues uh, to avoid any hot spots. And uh, by addressing to you, I would like to say that we journalists have to make sure that uh, we don't have any uh, hot spots in our region, let alone the conflicts. This is uh, my view to our work. If you have any questions, we'd be happy to take them. A very interesting point regarding COVID and Afghanistan. Yes, thank you very much for this information. Sometimes the journalists would exaggerate uh, not only regarding Afghanistan, but also regarding Central uh, Asian countries, for example, Azerbaijan. I cannot tell the names now, but I don't even think uh, it's necessary to uh, call their names because they would have, it will cause them another way of PR. Uh, they are mostly from Russia and from Moscow and from St. Petersburg, and they mostly uh, work for the Western community. And sometimes uh, they often visit our countries and they regard themselves as mentors uh, that can influence our opinions about our future, uh, our past and our people, we, because we know that export of democracy is not possible because this is a perishable good. Uh, and uh, these people turn information into the perishable good, and now they're confusing the other communities in other countries. With our actions, we have to prevent uh, such uh, movements, such actions, because they uh, cause negative image to our countries uh, and make it a black PR. And they can, for example, if we mention one radio, Echo Moscow, uh, when uh, during the Karabakh war, they turned all the truth upside down. Because for us, it was holy war. So we have to take actions, not to support them, but to expand the space of uh, truth and the space of uh, information that will withstand criticism. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Yes, and did you tackled upon a very important issue because the cultural assessment from outside will always have place and it will not necessarily be objective and unbiased and uh, 
uh, truthful and which are the centers of this information. It's another issue. Uh, so I think, yes, in Central Asia, the Turkic world and our European colleagues uh, would agree with that. You were talking about the environment or space. Uh, let us move uh, from Nur Sultan to Turkmenistan because we have been very attentively listened uh, by Sehid Murad uh, Kakishev. Uh, good day. Uh, the floor is yours, please. <laughs> dearest uh, colleagues, dearest friend, friends, I would like to appreciate the organizers for your invitation and for such an opportunity to participate online in this well-extended roundtable under the Eurasian Media Forum. <laughs> the central t topic for today's is uh, media of Turkic states and uh, expansion of cooperation, and this identifies the uh, key um, areas of today's uh, discussions. And uh, in enhancement of our multilateral relations uh, contributes to the prominent uh, enhancement of our positions in the international arena, including the United States, uh, based on the typical for our uh, people's um, uh, friendship, hospitality, and uh, mutual help. The, those national characteristics taken into account our cultural, spiritual um, values of our brotherhood nations uh, have been identifying the success of interstate cooperation of all in all areas without any exception whatsoever. I wouldn't be mistaken if I mentioned that in the current historic e era, it is important uh, to use those uh, uh, foundations to uh, glue together um, our nations and to have our long-term and viable plan for mutual, uh, mutually beneficial cooperation. And this has demonstrated been demonstrated by the consultative, consultative uh, uh, meetings uh, uh, held on the 6th of uh, August of this year, chaired by the Turk, by Turkmen uh, president at the uh, Turkmen sector of the Caspian Sea. And as Turkmen leader has uh, reiterated, uh, this platform is used to take the, um, to be used as a mobilizing um, factor to enhance enhance continental and interna international initiatives of the Turkic states. And this serves uh, as one of the uh, key strengthening platforms to include Eurasian uh, Media Forum. And we're very thankful to our Kazakhstani friends for this constructive dialogue amongst Turkic states and the representatives of the Turkish nations and the summit uh, of the Turkic states may serve as a uh, effective example of uh, multilateral cooperation in the entire spectrum to include economic, political, uh, trade, commerce, and other areas of cooperation. I can say that Turkmenistan and Kazakhstan have been developing the most optimal forms of interstate relationships that um, address the uh, national interests of each uh, party concerned to include the nations of the t Turkic state uh, in the very friendly uh, and trustworthy atmosphere. We're well aware about the fact that the upcoming Eurasian Media Forum's agenda initiated by our Kazakhstani friends includes the most important uh, and crucial matters uh, of importance for the entire global community is taking into account the complex times um, of today. And coronavirus has uh, impacted um, upon every single uh, area of our life. And you know that Turkmenistan has uh, 
been promoting very important international initiatives on coordinated uh, actions to counter dissemination of the infection, uh, being dangerously or critical for our global community as well as to have uh, other efforts in the region. And I would like to say that a serious challenge uh, makes all of us unite together. Uh, the the, the uh, Turkic states need to get together to um, to act as a role model for other representatives of the global community. And today we have vast opportunities to tackle the problems that our nations have been facing. And uh, we are very much interested in a mass media partnership, uh, independent Turkmenistan, uh, led by our distinguished uh, president, uh, has been expanding largely cooperation uh, amongst the, the media. And uh, the, the, the, I beg your pardon, sir. Uh, we need to admit that mass media uh, are very popular currently. At the moment, I, I best, uh, our aim uh, as uh, the representatives of the media is to uh, disseminate uh, truly authentic information re regarding all of the sectors of our social life as well as our participation to the international events, in including those arranged by the Turkic states. I would like to say that the Turkic uh, mass media have certain objectives uh, in terms of explanation of the um, uh, sovereign neutrality, as well as to provide informational support. Mr. Kakishov, do you hear me? Uh, our communication leaves much to be desired. You have 40 seconds. Uh, would you please summarize your statement? Thank you. Uh, I would like to once again thank you to participate to today's uh, round uh, table and hopefully the exchange of, uh, of opinions will um, contribute to strengthening of our friendship. Thank you. Thank you so much for your participation, Mr. Kakishev. Turkmenistan is undoubtedly a very important and crucial component in the United Turkic world and the issue that you have touched upon uh, um, from the pandemic standpoint and Ms. Kurbanova has also mentioned about the pandemic having uh, an impact upon the information uh, dissemination in many countries and I would like to thank you uh, for your speech and for being so attentive uh, to the matters that we have discussed so far. You have been listening to us very attentively and I think that hopefully you will participate in person into the next uh, forum. Thank you so much for uh, this. And uh, do you have the opinion regarding um, the statement of Mr. Kakishev, dear ladies and gentlemen, please? All right, uh, so for the future reference, I uh, would like you to uh, make it happen and come uh, in person. Uh, now, our dearest friends, uh, I think that we have to complete our round table. Uh, 90 minutes have already gone. We have discussed many issues. Now we have to sum up and summarize our meeting. Thank you so much. If we don't have any questions to follow, we would like to complete our round table and wish you all the best uh, in order for all of our ideas to come true in the future. And thank you so much. Uh, a special thanks to our Turkmen friends and colleagues. Dearest ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much. And thanks a lot for your available recommendations. All the best.